Genesis Protect Bertel Web Access Browser Based 3270 Terminal Emulation Product. Today we will look at the mainframe industry trends that are impacting legacy 3270 terminal emulation solutions, namely BYOD or Bring Your Own Device, Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, Mobility, and the upcoming release of Windows 10. Those market trends are having some organizations reconsider how they provide access to core mainframe applications through the web. We will see how the thin client browser-based technology of Vertel Web Access can help those organizations embrace those new mainframe industry trends. Time to rethink 3270 terminal emulation. With BYOD, VDI, Device as a Service, Mobility, and Windows 10 challenging traditional client and server-based 3270 terminal emulation programs, isn't it time to search for a 3270 terminal emulation solution that can provide up to an 80% cost savings over legacy solutions, doesn't require installing or supporting anything on clients or middle tier servers, a true thin client solution that uses the client's web browser to serve smart web pages that emulates a 3270 terminal, works with any device and OS available today, and with the devices and operating systems that will become available in the future. Vertel Web Access is such a solution. Uh, today I will introduce Vertel Web Access. It is our browser-based 3270 terminal emulator. Now what is Vertel Web Access and what does it do? Vertel Web Access serves 3270 screens such as those of CICS, IMS, Natural and TSO applications as HTML JavaScript web pages with 3270 emulation ergonomics to thin clients straight off the mainframe without middle tier servers. Typically, Vertel Web Access uh, is an alternative or replacement for client or server based 3270 emulators such as Attachment, Picom, Roomba, and Bluezone. The first page that uh, Vertel serves to a user that uh, has successfully logged on is uh, the Vertel application selection menu. On that menu, only those applications that the user is authorized to access are listed. Applications that the user is not authorized to access are not listed. Among the applications that are listed, those that are available are identified with a green light those that are not available are identified with a red light. This application menu together with the multi-windows capability of web browsers works as a simple multi-session manager. Some of our customers have simply dropped their session manager and by doing so they have eliminated the session managers licensing and support cost which can be quite high. Here is what the 3270 terminal emulation page served by Vertel looks like. As you can see, this web page has a traditional 3270 screen layout, colors and ergonomics. Uh, Vertel supports mod 2, mod 3, mod 4 and mod 5 screen configurations uh, right out of the box and other configurations can be supported with customization. A user enter the 3270 application codes in the screen fields and they navigate from field to field with the tab key. Uh, screen to screen navigation still relies on function keys PF1, PF7, PF8 and so on. And a banner has been added on top of the screen with several tools that my colleague John Bakiaki uh, will briefly review in his demonstration. So let's focus on uh, technology now. How does Vertel Web Access work? Uh, Vertel relies on a thin client also called browser-based architecture. What it means is that the uh, traditional 3270 emulation program or client app is replaced uh, by the browser to which Vertel serves a web page. Uh, 3270 application screens uh, of CICS, IMS and other 3270 applications are served by Vertel as HTML JavaScript web pages with 3270 emulation ergonomics. Uh, those pages can be rendered 
by any web browser running on any web-enabled device. What this means is that uh, Viertel Web Access works instantly with any web client, not just those available today, but those that will be available tomorrow. Any version of Windows, any Apple product, any mobile device. From a deployment point of view, it's a very simple deployment and instant because there is nothing to install on clients. Uh, you simply point your web browser to the predefined URL and you reach the Vertel logon menu. And from a point of view of support, it's also a very simple support because there is nothing to support outside the mainframe. No client app, no middle tier server. The support is 100% host based. To start, I'd like to show you the Virtel application menu. You can reach this menu by issuing the URL that you see here. These tasks could be CICS, TSO, IMS, your session manager, or any other started task. Let's click on TSO, which is a TSO instance on our mainframe. And what you are seeing is what Virtel presents to you, a full function 3270 representation in a browser setting. Again, this is a standard 3270 screen represented as a web page. As you can see, I can tab through the fields just as if I were using a TN 3270 interface. And I will be prevented from typing in protected areas. And as you will see, I can get the inhibited uh, indicator on the bottom, which I will have to get rid of by using the reset key. And this is a standard edit session. I can page up and down in this document and use any of the standard PF key functions. And I can also use the keyboard on the toolbar to perform the same PF functions, PF8 and then PF7 to page back up again. Also on the toolbar, I can do a copy or cut of text and paste it elsewhere. We can also do a send or receive of data from our PC in the same fashion that you would do in dollar file transfers with a 3270 uh, emulation. We can capture and delete screen images to print out or save as a file. We can record and play back macros. And we can also, by clicking on the settings button, bring up a list of different things that you can change to affect how your screen looks and how your keys behave. For example, changing the enter key from the enter key on your keyboard to the new line key on the keyboard. If you would like to have more information on this product or other products from SDS, please contact us at Software Diversified Services at 1-800-443-6183, or you can send us an email at info at sdsusa.com.